And now we move on to our example. So our example here is, looks pretty complicated. Now we have two op amps. We have one op amp that have two input voltages. And then we have this op amp that have uh, another two input voltages. But these two input voltages are connected, as you can see, also to our second op amp. There's two feedback resistors and it looks pretty complicated. And the question is, given all of our values of our resistance and given all of our values of our voltages, our input, given all of, well, not all of our values for our voltages, but for V1, we're given that, V2, we're given that, V3, we're given that, V0, our output voltage is given that. Determine the value of V4. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the same concept as what we did with our output voltage. But in addition to that, how is our input voltage going to look like? We do know that we take the feedback resistor multiplied by the uh, whatever the input resistance is in series with it. But the question is, how about when we have go through this part of the series, where as you can see, V1 and V2 goes through their resistor, input resistor, and then their series resistor, and then there's another input resistance right here, and then another feedback resistor. Well, the answer to that would basically be, you take the input voltage multiplied by the ratio of that, and then multiplied by the ratio again of these two resistors, and um, it will look like this for V1. So V1 times negative R3 over R1 and then times negative R7 over R4 and that would ha that's how it's gonna look like for V1 similar to V2 so very much like this and then V3 and V4 uh, is basic so we just take its uh, input resist it's take its input resistance and then its feedback resistance same thing goes for v4 and our output voltage will look like this but the question is to determine what v4 is we already know what v0 v2 V1 and V3 is going to be like. So what is V4? Well, all we need to do is just isolate all the terms onto one side, leaving V4 alone on the other side, and we can determine what uh, V4 is going to be. So essentially, it's going to look like this. So this is our uh, almost uh, to the process where we're able to isolate V4. And then what we do is we take this over here and what we get is uh, R6 over R7 multiplied by this whole term. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sub in all the values to determine what our uh, V4 is going to be. So this is how it's going to look like. So I know this may seem boring and I might skip some of the section, but I'm just subbing all the values and there's a lot of values in this question.
And now I've subbed in all the values and then I am going to take the final answer. So if we find the value of this term to this term, this term and this term, this is what we're going to get. And then finally, what we get for V4 is basically going to be 1 volt. And that is how we solve a weighted summer problem with two op amps, two input voltages connected to the first op amp and the other two input voltages connected to the second op amp. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the near future.